you. We need 100 grams of that, 50 grams of the suet, 50 grams of the raisins. There it goes into the bowl, lovely, just like that. Into the bowl, we read the meter there. We're reading the meter. There it goes, got enough in there. There we go, lovely. Obviously we poured that from the bowl into the other bowl there, the big mixing bowl. In goes the suet. Lovely, shredded suet. There we go. In the suet goes. There we go, we look at the, oh, look at that, ah, just enough in there, and that goes in the mixing bowl too. Here we go, in it goes, in it goes in the mixing bowl, lovely. Finally, we got the raisins, put the raisins in there, in they go, lovely, look like little rabbit poos, don't they? We've got to measure them out, look at that again, very, very, very easy. Raisins going down into the bowl now, there we go. Oh. What we've got to do now is put some water in here. Water. And we put a little bit of salt and pepper in there, and then some water. Nice amount of pepper and nice amount of salt. Make sure you do that before the water. Next is water. Lovely. Been here before. In goes the water. Beautiful. Mix it all up there. That's right. Mix it all up. Make it light, nice, like, 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 and doughy, doughy and sticky. Keep adding a little bit more water in there. That's the way. Should look a little bit like this. If it does, add a bit more water. Keep on. Needed it in there. Need it in there. That's right. Need it in there. Nice simple recipe. Good in stews. We're just gonna have it in a lamb stew tonight. That's it. Bit more water. Find a bit of water in there. Keep the water going in there. You only need full amount. This is about three tablespoonfuls of water. That's all. Gotta make sure it's good consistency like this. Just like this now here. Sticking together. Then roll it into eight balls after that. So this there, that's six balls so far, and we're just about to make a seventh there, see? See the consistency? Look at that. That's your dumplings with the Californian raisins in, looking lovely. There's the seventh ball, and the eighth ball. Eight balls on its way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight balls. There we go. Over here, you'll see the lamb stew. This is where the balls are going to go, but the lamb stew's not quite ready yet. So we'll come back when it's ready. We're not doing lamb stew in this recipe, just the dumplings. This is what the lamb stew should roughly look like though. All right then. At this point, it's okay. When the lamb stew is not quite ready, get yourself a little vodka. Or if you don't like vodka, you can have a cup of tea. Or maybe have a little go on the internet, possibly. I don't know. Depends what you want to do. Got to wait until the lamb stew's ready. Been sizzling for quite a while now. Take your shoes off, kick back. Admire your handiwork and prepare to put them in the lamb stew. They gotta go into the stew for 20 minutes. So these here things here, these things here, they gotta go in here for 20 minutes or so. But only when this is nice and thick and ready. If you wanna use corn flour, thicken it up, more than welcome. Right then, now it's time, the stew's ready, so the dumplings are gonna go into the stew. The raw dumplings, what we've already made. There we go, pop them in there, nice. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight dumplings in that there pot of nice lamb stew. Nice big pot of lamb stew there. Eight dumplings. They've got to cook in there 20 minutes. So leave them alone now. Go and have a vodka, a cup of tea, drink a beer, whatever you like. Put the lid on the top of the pan though. Make sure you do that. Sizzle them away. We've, we've got them here on number two. On number two on the electric. Uh, so it's a low heat. You could just see underneath the bubbling going away. That's what it should be looking like. Make sure you wash your hands at this point. Don't forget to wash your hands. Well, as you can see in here, the alarm's going off on the cooker, so it means it's ready. Look at that. Look at the size of them dumplings now. They come up lovely, they have. Time to serve now. If you're lucky, you've got an array of accoutrements things to have a look at, tools. This is the best thing to use. Nice ladle type thing here. Nice ladle. Now we're going to take the take the... The lid off there. Oh, look at that. Steaming away, steaming away. Nice and hot. Now we've got to ladle it in. Oh, look at that. Dumplings. Look at that. Lovely lamb stew and dumplings coming up there. Lovely. There we go. Get yourself a nice glass of wine with it. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at them there. Dumplings and stew. Beautiful. Let's have a close up on the dumpling there. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. It's going to taste booty. It's Oh, look at that. Oh, steaming up the camera a little bit. That's how hot it is. There you go. Look at that. For a nice hearty winter dinner. There you go. Two dumplings. Family of four. Suit them lovely. It's very, very easy, isn't it? Go and do it for yourself. Cooking with Tarkin. 
Tarquin plunge bucket and his dumplings. There you go today. There'll be another one tomorrow, I hope.